Hi everybody, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to episode 23 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. I'm just perched up like a bird at the tippy top of my starter house here. I was just taking a look at everything that we've built in the town. Man, I'm loving it. By the way, you guys, thanks for watching the last episode. If you did, really do appreciate y'all. I'm up here at the watchtower right now because for some reason there are just new villagers day in and day out. We got this guy, the watchman. We have the watchman's watchman. Oh, there was a third one. I promised there was a third guy like 30 seconds ago. No way he just fell. Oh my god, this is this is tragic. If I turn my back for just one second, these guys disappear. This is kind of scary and ominous. Do you but you stay away from me, sir. Thanks again, everybody, for joining on the live Twitch streams. It is twitch.tv slash waxfraud if you want to come join us anytime. It is free to join in, and we do stream every single day, so feel free to come by. Something I did want to show off, though, was what we did in the last episode. We have the dripstone farm right here, or the department of dripstone, whatever you want to call it, but I think it fits in here just nicely. It's, I haven't really built anything this, like, formal-looking, I guess, in the world yet. Um, it looks very formal, like, very governmental. But I like it. It fits in there very nicely. Almost looks like the dog sanctuary, but we used a lot more wood. But anyways, I'm really hoping you guys liked it, and thanks for watching that episode. B, are you okay? You seem to be lost. Uh, you don't You don't need to be here. There you go. Get out of here, bud. Be free. Be free. Watch him just get stuck on this campfire. Are you... Okay. I must... Oh, my God. Actually, while we're on this backside of town, what I wanted to show you was a nice little ocean boardwalk that we had built in a recent long play. So thanks for watching that, too, if you did. I appreciate everybody that likes, comments on the videos, watches them for relaxation, for sleep, whatever you need to do. Thank you for watching them. I really do appreciate it. But we, yeah, we did get this ocean boardwalk here made out of oak, a lot of campfires, a little bit of brick for the posts here, and a lot of azalea bushes on the side. You can hear pufferfish trying to get at me, but too bad, dude, I'm on the boardwalk. We got a safe boardwalk here now. This is where we used to be breeding the frogs, and I thought it just felt kind of empty here. So actually, if we go out... On top of the tree farm, I can show you what it actually looks like, and oh my god, I almost jumped too far. Let's go over here, and bam, ocean boardwalk, not looking too shabby. And I almost built the Olay Beach House on this little area back here, and uh, I'm kind of, kind of glad we didn't, because now that we have the boardwalk here, it's kind of opening up more space and giving me more ideas for what I want to do. I kind of want to do a castle that extends out into the water eventually. Man, there's a lot of cowage out here right now. We got like 20 cows in this field. Be gone, cows. Go be free. You don't need to be in this field. There's not even any grass here. There's like one, maybe two pieces of grass. What are you doing? A very big build is going to go here, though, and I'm pretty excited about it. But when I was flying over the tree farm, I did see... Oh, my God. Look at how far this guy is. This guy this guy actually might have ventured out the farthest more than anybody. Look at them. He's way past the tree farm, way past the frog sanctuary. He's moving. He's moving, but who knows where. Did I, like, did I place a house under here somewhere? Did I place a bed down here somewhere that... The villagers are trying to get to because I really and I, there's just there's no telling why they just they're go, they go strictly this way diagonal out into nowhere and there's another one we have one over here we have one over here there's another one. Oh my god all right let's get some boats let's take them back all right bud I don't know what you thought you were gonna do out here let's I'm I'm glitching out in this boat right now all right let's take you home you don't need to be out here I don't know why these guys are out here but uh, th I mean there's got to be something out there man drop you off on the beach you this is your home this is your home you nowhere else is home like i just just be here take a there you go see take a bed take a job there's there's a lot going on in this society man in front of the house though i got more dripstone here and it i i'm loving putting the dripstone around town i'm actually gonna fly back and start breaking some more right now i want more dripstone around town because we have these big buildings back here but the small little decorations that's what kind of brings everything all together so I've been coming in here slowly, taking as much dripstone as possible, not really letting it grow that far because uh, I come in here like every 10 minutes and just take what I can. But it sure is growing, man. It sure is growing quick in here. I thought it was going a little bit slower, but if you have three layers of like 40 dripstone blocks like or more, then you're, you're fine. You're going to get a bunch of dripstone. But now we can take this stuff around town and go boom, boom. And if we want to make it taller, go boom. We can go boom and boom. I love having dripstone around town. It's awesome. The diagonal feeling of them, when, like when you're walking down the paths, it just makes it, it's, it's different, it's nice. It makes everything seem a little bit more three-dimensional, even though it is all 3D, it's just a little, just that much more. I love how it's diagonal, too. The drip zone just brings like a whole other dimension to the pathways, and just decoration in general. I love this. I hope Minecraft adds more diagonal-type blocks like this, because I, I love it. But, now that we have the dripstone, it is kind of making me wonder, we do have more blocks that we haven't even found in this game yet. We have a lot of dripstone now, and uh, we can get more anytime we run out, but, oh my god, I'm stuck in the flower garden. Let's get out of here. There's a couple things that I wanted to get, and that is mushrooms. Now, the other episode when we were grabbing the Alays, I was flying out here, and we happened to fly over a dark oak forest. And dark oak forests, they're filled with a bunch of dark oak trees, and 
a lot of mushrooms. And look at the top of my forehead. When I when I say mushrooms, I mean mushrooms. My render distance up to about 24 chunks so I can see out here. I it, I thought it was around here somewhere. As soon as I start seeing some brown and red mushrooms, I'll, I'll know exactly where I am. We have spotted some mushrooms. Let's go. Okay, so this is a mini part of the dark oak forest, but honestly, it's fine. I'll take what I can get. Let's take down all these mushrooms. We have, I'm pretty sure we have silk touch on this axe. We do. Instamine. Let's go. I love these. I'm going to take these back home. I want to build some real, like, life-size mushrooms, kind of like just rebuilding all of these all together with the mushroom stems and everything like that. And if you take some little end rods and one of these blocks, it kind of makes little... Nice, nice little mushroom lights. It would be so great to have some mycelium. I'm going to get some of this. Oh, look at that little mushroom down there in the cave. That's kind of fun. I'm going to get some mossy cobblestone while I'm out here. Because, I, I mean, I can make some easily with a bunch of moss. Uh, I need to make a moss farm. I, I need to get a little bit more redstone adverse. Like that. I, yeah, making a moss farm. It seems kind of intimidating. But, honestly, that's a light, like a lot of redstone stuff. It's very intimidating at first. And then once you get it done, it's like, oh, that wasn't that bad. Taking out the brown mushroom too. This is ah, this is great. Bunch more decoration blocks incoming. Is that an azalea tree I see? I think we may have just found a lush cave. Let's uh, maybe go see what's down there. Wow, it's rare you see the rooted dirt all exposed like this. This is pretty cool. I can't see in there at all. I shot some arrows in there because I thought I'd saw a creeper. Oh my god, this is oh yep, there is a creeper. It came out of the darkness. Hold up, buddy. I don't really like this area. Let's get out of here for just a second. Honestly, just one spore blossom makes this trip very successful for me. So let's go here. I don't see one yet. It might be down below. Found a way bigger mushroom forest. And actually, I did just figure out uh, when I was live on stream taking some mushrooms down, I was actually uh, notified that you can actually plant mushrooms when they are just in the shade. I, I didn't know that at all. I thought for all, literally like 10 years now, I thought you needed mycelium to plant on uh, to plant and grow mushrooms, but apparently that is not the case, so I was wrong, and it's it's awesome. It's crazy how you can play the game for this long and still be learning new things. This dark forest is enormous, and hey, we got some lush caves right there, it looks like, and actually, it looks like there's a giant void. Wow. Big forest fire. This is crazy, dude. Look at this. Giant forest fire must have happened here. I, I was fly I've been flying back and forth, like, kind of near here, because uh, this is where I chill. The ice spikes are actually right over there, so I've been chilling here with the frogs, and that's there must have been a forest fire, like, right in the chunks that were loaded. Dang, this is this is a massacre. Really hoping we can go down into that lush cave and get ourselves a spore blossom. That would just, that would be really nice. This is awesome. Oh, I see a skeleton over there. Oh my gosh. All right, there's definitely going to be a spore blossom in here. Pop over here and get me that spore blossom hanging right on the mine shaft. That's awesome, dude. And we got some axolotls over there. Dude, these are beautiful. I, I wish we could... You know what? I Someday, one of these episodes, I am going to build a house in a cave. Lush cave like this. We've done long plays before like this, but never... I don't think we've done that in the hardcore series. Axolotls over there looking super cute. Man, I mean, we got to build a house in the lush cave eventually. This would be super fun. Actually, I feel like we can't leave until we grab at least one axolotl. That'd be cool if we could just find a naturally spawned blue axolotl, but... Unfortunately, it doesn't always work out like that. This is super cool. This would be a really cool starter base area. Sir, you need to stop? Come on, right, come on now. Don't... Over here and grab this spore blossom. I hope there's no creepers over yonder. I don't see any. And there's my spore blossom right here. Can I... Please don't fall. Don't fall too... Oh, there's another one right there. Get on out of here. Oh my god, there's two spore blossoms right next... This is... This is insane. There's a cave spider spawner right there. I gotta be careful. I really don't want to deal with any of them. I'm just gonna go up. I, all I want is the spore blossoms. That's really all I want. These dark oak forests are beautiful when the sun's going down. This, like, dark oak sunsets. That's the way it is, man. Oh, hold up. I was going home. Look at this. is crazy. Look at this right here. Okay. Hold up. What are our coordinates? Oh, wait. Dripstone. No way. Just made the dripstone farm, and then we just happened to get a... Oh, no way. That, that, those... What are the odds? Make a dripstone farm, and then we find some exposed dripstone, like, uh, you never, you know what, that, that would happen. Hey, we got a beautiful little village coming up over here. I haven't really been to any of the winter villages yet, and, uh, ooh, they got little igloos too. This is great, dude. Actually, if I was here early game, I'd be here t stealing all the lanterns. I, that's what I, I love doing that. If you, if you happen to stumble upon a winter village early game, you, luck, you're so lucky. There's so many free lanterns here, like, look at that. These ice spikes are beautiful, though. I, I, I always love looking at these. It'd be cool to build a house over here, too. There's just two... Whoa! Hold up a second. I have not seen this village yet, either. Let's go. Okay, so... there. You never know when you're going to stumble on some good loot, so I'm just going to come in here and uh, let's see what's up. I, I might take these brewing stands just because I want to. That's mine. Thank you. I'm going to set the cows free, and they're going to wreak havoc on the town. Be free. Be free, cows. 
Well, this house gave us some gold nuggets, so I guess, what was it worth it? I guess it might have been. Thank you for the Dandelion also. Wait, I think this is technically two villages because we got, a, we got another one right there. How is there two bells? This doesn't really look like two villages, but I guess it is. All right, well, that's enough horsing around. I think we, uh, we need to be on our way. And uh, let's go back home. Let's start decorating. Hold up. Have I been to this shipwreck yet? Let's find out. Give me this. And Okay, I don't think we've been here yet. Let's find out what this is. I love me a good treasure hunt. Let's go over this way and see how close we can get. Oh, actually, I don't think we're that far. It might actually, it looks like we're pretty close depending on what that map set. And we're already popping into the map. Okay, perfect. Let's go over this way and another dark oak forest. Look at that. Wait, is this another shipwreck? It is another shipwreck. Hold up. I I haven't even, we're not even at the treasury. Okay, we're going to grab this. Thank you very much for all of that. And 9-9 nine, nine right here. All right, so this supposedly is the spot. Yep, there it is. Boom. What do we got? Everything. Okay, there have been way too many distractions. Let's... Oh, look at that lily of the valley. I'm gonna take it. Oh, there's another one. I'm taking you. You are mine. I'm gonna take you. You are mine. Why is there a chicken floating in the water? I don't know. Sir, let's uh, let's save you. You just... You need to be saved. It's been a while since there was chicken violence. Oh my god. All right, the distractions are endless. There is a uh, nether portal here, an abandoned one. Let's go see... What is here? Probably some gold nuggets and uh, whatever, whatever else is there. Oh, crying obsidian. Let's do it. Okay, now we fly home. That we that was a lot of distractions. Hopefully there are uh, no more. What a beautiful little town we have stumbled upon. Couple things to do now that we're back home. I'm gonna take this guy and I'm just gonna put him down in the water to be with all the other buddies. What's up, guys? Join, join the group. Be one with the others. We could put an actual village down here with uh, an actual bell, like just putting this right here. Boom. Now uh, some of them might congregate down here, and that actually might be kind of fun. Let's go ahead and put another one all the way on this side of the island, all the way down here, kind of by the Olays. I would like some villagers to start making their way over here, and if we have just a couple of bells, then that might give them a little bit of incentive. Maybe just hanging one right here. Maybe that'll do it. Also going to start planting these spore blossoms because all of these little particles that fly around everywhere, these little green particles, oh, I love it. They just uh, makes everything so much cooler. I'm actually going to put one on the other side of the bridge as well, right next to this mangrove uh, little swamp house. That way it has a little bit more. Oh my god, I already have one right there. That's insane. Wait, let's put one over here too. That way we can just be, this is going to be pretty. Also a spore blossom here right on the other side of the axolotl pond. I think this one's going to do very well. And now for the real decoration. So I've been wanting to do this for a while. So here's what we do. We go, oh, actually, that's not right at all. Here's what we do. We go, bam, and then we got a red mushroom block to put right there. Boom. This creates little light everywhere. And, guess, I don't know. I just, I love it. There's the, the little mushroom blocks everywhere. There's a lot of color that's added to the world that wasn't there before. So we can do, oh, my God, I keep putting them to the side. That was two wrong placements in a row. Let's let's figure ourselves out here. Let's go, bam. So now that's nice. I like that. Let's go put these in some other random spots. Add some more texture everywhere, like one right here. We go bam, and then we go bam. Will that add it? No, I don't know if that's right. <gasps> and I didn't silk touch it. That was bad. What a waste. I'm going to be putting these all around town. I think putting one right here on the other side of the flower garden is going to be nice. We'll just go right there. I love this. Little tiny lamps all over the place. I'm, uh, I'm going to go crazy with these. We got bam. Here we got some bam. Something I also wanted to do was... Oh, man. Something I also wanted to do was... Other, other than these little tiny lights with the mushrooms everywhere, because I, oh, I got them all over the town. I got like a stack and a half everywhere. They fit in nicely. What I wanted to do, though, was get some actual mushroom stems up. If we go here, go up about... Maybe about seven. I'm not really sure, but go up a little bit taller than normal. Let's use some shroom lights for the edges here. I'm going to do this just because shroom light... It's only fitting uh, when you look up at the top of this once the mushroom is actually created. Uh, it's, it's nice to actually uh, be able to look in here and get some light. Pop down on the ground, go two layers more down. That way it starts to look like an actual mushroom. Oh, that was an accident. Oh, no, that's not good. Let's take this away. Uh, hold on, let's take that out. Let's take boom, boom. Nice, not too bad. Yeah, especially, yeah, that, uh, adding a bunch of these in the world is going to be fantastic. Now, to get to the actual building portion of the video, I mean, we have to take a look and see what is on that goal board. And we've actually, you know, there's been a small trend the past few episodes, and that's just been to straight up ignore the goal board. We have been doing stuff and getting stuff done. Stuff that needs, ouch, how that, that little potted plant hurt me somehow. But we've been getting stuff that needs to get done, but uh, maybe sticking to the trend of not looking at the goal board and doing something might actually work out. Been a little fun for me because, I mean, we have a bunch of trading halls right here. We got the butchers, shepherds, masons, and armorers, as well as a fox sanctuary and bamboo farm. And don't get me wrong, I do want to do that, but there's been something on my mind, and I'm pretty sure you guys have 
been thinking about it too because uh, I just did it two episodes. We got a bunch of llamas and they don't have a home. They've just been tied up. We have mate. We have guy. We have pal. We even over here, if you go over, we have... Wait, where'd they go? They're gone. Wait, wait are you serious? Okay. Now this is bad. I don't know what... What? Are you, what? How did this happen? Hold up. We name tagged them and we, we tamed them. This is insane. Um, that means a couple of them may have wandered off somewhere. Wow, okay, all the more reason to make a llama sanctuary because, dude, the, the uh, three of them are gone. We had dude, we had buddy, we had... Oh my god, this is... <laughs> what? Where'd they go? Looking out in the forest over here, I, I don't see any llamas. I see pandas down here, but no llamas. I see more cows. I see another panda literally right here. What's up, panda? We got a skelly, we got another panda. I'm not seeing anything. This is, uh, this is not great. Let's start taking down these trees. Let's clear out a space because we're, we're gonna have to make a llama sanctuary. It's about time. We need to do this right now. <laughs> this whole area actually looks pretty nice once it is cleared out. I actually moved the beacon over here. Let's go back this way. Every everything is pretty much cleared out. I uh, took a bunch of trees out. We got a bunch. We got a bunch of stacks of jungle wood and oak wood and birch wood actually. So pretty nice. A little couple of azalea trees taken down too. But we have a lot of area here, and this is fun too. I kind of want to build a dock here because this right here is a river that leads all the way past rainbow mountain this is the hole that goes to the automatic sorting system but if we go down this river just a little bit further it, it just keeps going and this actually it, this would be fun to explore i'd like to set up a dock there and then kind of travel by boat how we did in the very first episode and uh, that's how we found the like the mangrove swamp if we just go this way a little bit further uh, the coral reef that we've been taking everything from is right here but we need to explore further beyond this way I am glad that this area is taken out now, though, because it just gives us a lot of space to work with. Uh, right here, though, there's a conduit down here, and this is actually the conduit that we used to build this giant ravine that we had worked on in a long play about a month ago. And this thing is great. It's just, it's just kind of in the way of making a build here, so I'm going to do a little bit of landscaping. I, uh, yeah, I have all those yellow blocks in there because uh, I've, I've been doing a lot of Rainbow Mountain recently. But I think what we need to do is actually just uh, make the coast a little bit shorter here. I want to make more room. The Llama Sanctuary, just I think it needs more space. Uh, it might be cool if we have it go across the ravine, but just if we have more space in general, that would be nice. I want to put some on that side of the water too. Now, this area over here is just not really big enough. I mean, I could put something here. I don't necessarily know what the... It's not really big enough for any sanctuary that I want for the llamas, at least, because those are a pretty big animal. We could put, like, maybe a parrot sanctuary on that side, because those are pretty small, but llamas are a lot bigger. So we have a little bit more space over here now, at least enough to kind of start to make them like a rectangle or a square. Let's just, let's get a build going. I'm going to use probably a lot of cobbled deep slate on this. I want to use some deep slate tiles as well, and then I kind of want to go back to some regular spruce, because around here, there's not much of that, I guess, except for right there. But that is all the deep slate tile. We're going to use a lot of the cobbled deep slate on this build. Got a nice stone wall over here, and instead of the usual glass windows, we're using the fences for now, just because this is going to be an animal pen. Decided to go checkerboard here with the spruce wood and the oak wood. Using cobbled deep slate for the inside and actual deep slate tiles on the outside. It looks a little bit castle-esque right now, but we're going to have an area backing up so the llamas can play in the water if they want to. Actually, let's start bringing some over here, make this place a little bit more lively. I think what I'm going to do with this side is actually just start to add a bunch of campfires. We've been doing a lot of trading, so I think if we just maybe start here, kind of bring it out a little bit, that might be an area that's a little bit too tall. If we brought it down to this level... Actually, nope, we'll probably take these out and continue to go on the other line. Slap some of these right here to see if this will work. And that's looking not too bad so far, but let's go ahead and put this here, that there, boom, and... You know what? We have ourselves a nice little awning here. Also wanted to thank you guys for the patience for this epi episode coming out. I did get a little bit sick uh, during the recording of this episode, so I had to take about a day, almost two days off, just for my voice to recover. Sometimes when I get sick, I just lose my voice, as you can tell from like past episodes and past series. But yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys to uh, for, again for waiting for the episode to come out. Take all these fires out real quick, and actually, in the inside, I'm not going to go up with cobbled deep slate all the way. We are going to start going with some oak, because I'm going to actually turn this into, like, what looks like a house. Um, instead of making it a castle-esque on the bottom, it's, it's going to start to be a lot more wooden on the top. That way, the llamas can go upstairs in a certain area up here. It's crazy that we have villagers that are just making their way all the way over to the turtle sanctuary. This is, like, this is on the edge of town, and most of the villagers are, like, a mile that way. Like, that's where the fishing dog is, all the way over there, barely in the render distance. So, uh, yeah, I mean, while we're over here, let's, uh, let's get these llamas. Let's get the, where the lead's at. Let's go one, two, and three. Come on, guy. Wait, where are you going? Where are you? Uh, no. Wait. Get, 
Come on. There we go. Come on. Let's get over this way. And Wait a second. I missed you right here. Let's go. Let's go this way and let's have a good time. Llamas feel like they're pretty easy to pull. Um, let's just get over there. Yeah, come on, guys. Act normal. Why is this guy slightly different colored? I thought they were all the same color. But this guy's a little bit more tan. Maybe it's just the way the lighting's hit him, but maybe not. Uh, guys, act normal. Do what you can to do to be as uh, normal as possible while I'm building your home. Let's try to get the side over here worked on a little bit. And we had an unknown guest come upon us here. Wait, hold on. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna take everything you got. I don't really need any of this, but... I mean, I'm gonna end up taking your leads and your llamas and renaming them, so... I'm, I'm really sorry about this. Let's just go ahead and do that. And let's do that. And, okay, the leads are here. Uh, these guys are good. They're just gonna probably spit on me for a little bit. Actually, wait, they're not spitting at all. Yeah, these guys really must have not liked that wandering trader. Actually, let's go ahead and bring these guys inside. Can they walk through? Come on. Let's go this way. Hey, buddy, let's go. No, come on. Okay, they actually, this is, this is weird. Walking around the front, though, I did make a small balcony instead of using the other awning. I just wanted one awning here, and then instead, a balcony from the second floor right there. And up the scaffolding on the side, I was going to put one or more of these right here. Get some of these hooked up right there. Some flowering azaleas. This is always just going to make all the builds look way better. We're gonna slap some stairs here, slap some stairs there, boom, boom, and yada, yada. Actually, we're gonna get some end rods instead of lanterns on this level here. We have lantern all the way at the top, and we're using lanterns on the side here on the edges of the roof. But for this level specifically, I think it's okay to use some end rods. Let's throw some more flowering azaleas up. I keep falling. Luckily, we have a bunch of scaffolding to catch me. I think we are missing some trap doors on the side. Let's put one right there. And then if we can jump up and slap one in that same spot, boom, boom. That's nice. We got some siding panels for the windows right here. Let's get the fourth one right there. Ooh, also a little bit of composter with some flowering azalea bushes. Let's go. That looks nice. Not uh, gonna forget the gates right here. Actually, let's jump up. We'll go bam, bam, bam. Let's hop back over. I think I wanted to get these oak buttons up here as well. These definitely deserve their spot. Also crawling over to the top if I can get out of the way of the scaffolding. Let's put something there, there, and there. Can we get the chain there? Perfect, perfect, and perfect. Crawl back up and fly this way. Let's just, uh, let's get these guys to hang right here, and then we'll get one end rod for the middle. We got those windows at the very top taken care of, but what we did not take care of was the roof. There's one thing that I wanted to do right over here, and that is actually get some campfires in for a little bit of texturing. Normally we go up just with some stairs and uh, some planks the entire way, but this time on the roof we, on the last three blocks, put slabs up. So it kind of uh, leveled it out towards the top, allowed us to get some extra campfires in here for some texture. Right now, this entire build, it's not looking too bad. Actually, if we go through the back, I made sure to give a test drive on this backside to see what it would look like. And this is not too bad. I've never really, this kind of looks like a barn, but it's all lit up in ways that it's a little bit unique to anything that I've built so far. But right now, we got to get some slabbage working on this right here. And uh, once this is built, this will be very nice. Uh, but this is not going to be a typical roof. I'll probably just end up putting maybe just some gates up so they can't get out over here. But uh, it's probably just going to be a bunch of hay, like a place where they can come over here and eat. Maybe a little bit of a pond right here, too. There's a lot of decoration uh, that we did put. I guess I did forget to put the end rods right here and okay i guess i forgot to put the potted plants here as well i'm kind of glad i came out here to show you guys this because otherwise i would have forgotten this stuff we have a window over here that you know i guess i could put this in here as well you, there's not, you never have too much decoration some end rods over here as well and bam and boop we can walk through the other side here on the second floor we have a back balcony that we had started working on and this is a little bit different this actually reaches over into the pond kind of like i said it would i'll probably make a little area um, where the llamas can come in and just hang out because if I let them just walk over here They can easily just leave so there's got to somehow be a fence out here when still an area where they just can't get out I don't like being a little crazy here. We're gonna do something different on the edge of this balcony instead of just these uh, Stripped logs. Let's replace them. We're gonna use some composters We'll go up like this and we'll go flowering azalea leaves right there and we'll do it the same thing on the other side. Now this actually, I've never, never done this before, but I think it is going to look a little bit nice. We're going to have to put some trap doors below there and down here as well. Coming back in with some fresh new name tags. Let's go over into the clear patch of land and bam, we are here. We have two new guys. We're going to go friend. Please don't disappear like the last friend and buddy. Please don't disappear like the last buddy. Do, do us proud. Do us proud and chill with your homies. Well, all these guys are uh, the different colors. We got a yellow, we got purple, we got lime green, light blue, and dark blue. These are actually, I've never really had a world where I had a bunch of different 
colored llamas in here. This is cool. I like this a lot. Now I feel like I can trust them enough and I have a build structured enough with uh, places where they can't get out. So I hope I didn't or just don't in the future leave any gates open. But these guys are free to roam. Let's uh, let's let them be in here while I continue to decorate the interior in here and the exterior. I got to get this back balcony done. Let's actually do that right now. Put a haystack up in here. It never really hurt nobody. We can put one over there too. And I believe that is it. We uh, completed the back balcony here. It's a little bit more decoration than I thought I was going to put on here, but I'm really enjoying it. We got some jungle trees back here too to separate some of the builds. I ended up giving them a little bit more space. Out. Oh God, they, whoa, dude and comrade. Guys, hold, hold on a second. Okay, actually, it looks like they want some. There you go. There you go. Actually, these guys aren't colored yet and they're, ma they're making a baby llama. Baby llama, let's go. Let's go. Wanted to come back in here and oh, I didn't I forgot that these guys love hay bales, but I actually put some back here and I kind of wanted to load some more back up to make it feel like we've just started filling this place in. And I think I accidentally just, yep, I just made another baby llama. There we go. Well, we're going to have to get more carpets, man. We're going to have to get every single color of guy in here. And uh, I'm going to stay true to my word. I did want to do a small pond here for these guys. Wait, what, what happened? I thought I just heard like a llama fall or something. Maybe that's just the noises the baby ones make. I'm not really not sure. Bada boom, we got a pond, put some stuff in. That's nice. That's really nice. Gonna bone meal around here so they have a little bit of grass to eat and stuff like that. Maybe we'll leave nah, no creeper grass, actually. We do not allow creeper grass in here still. The interior actually ended up not being too bad. I like the way it turned out. It's not uh, too lustrous in here. Like, you know, it's obviously just llamas. There's not people in here, so... Uh, we're letting the llamas roam around. We got a backside equivalent to the front side, except for the overhang doesn't go up the hill. Stuff actually, there might be chickens and other mobs that might be able to land in here. And wait a second. Did I see it? There's a villager stuck in a boat. Hold on a sec. Dude, you know what? You deserve to stay there. You're going to stay right there. Now we're back here real quick. We got to make some carpets. Let's do this real quick. Go bam and bam. Let's get an orange guy too. Let's find those guys that don't have any... There we go. What's up, comrade? How about you become the red one? Let's just put you right here. Looking beautiful. Looking absolutely beautiful. And we'll go over here, give dude a nice orange color to him, and boom. That is just... You're looking fantastic. Well, guys, I think that is going to be it. We have officially a llama sanctuary. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I really do appreciate it. This was a really fun one to build. We went just very abstract with it, made it look like a farm, a barn, and like a starter house all in one. And I just really do appreciate you guys sticking around for all the Twitch streams. I know I was gone for a little bit during the recording of this, so sorry for the uh, the time in between the episodes. But seriously, guys, just thanks for showing up for all the Twitch streams and all the YouTube videos. Thanks for leaving a like and any of the comments down below. I do try to reply to all the comments. And uh, yeah, just I really do appreciate the support on this series it really does mean a lot episode 24 is right around the corner so yeah guys just thanks for everything and i'll see you next time bye everybody